Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will be looking at the Roundhouse 24 foot ore car, ribside. So first up we have the body. And there really isn't too much to the body. The only thing that you are going to take note of is at the end here, there is a little spot for a brake wheel. However, they do supply a brake wheel in the kit, but uh, you're probably not going to want to use the brake wheel. And I say this because it's just a little post that sticks out there. It's not actually a good area to glue on a piece. So there's a couple things that you can do. You can either drill out the end to put the brake wheel in, or you can glue it on just on top of it like that. And it's not very good doing that way. Um, however, I am going to leave it off because even on the brand new cars, they do not come with the brake wheel on the brand new cars. It's the exact same mold and they don't put the brake wheels on right from brand new. So I'm not gonna put the brake wheels on as a preference. Next up, we have the floor. And this actually is a metal part. And so you're going to have to check around where the couplers are for any kind of flashing. There is usually some metal flashing sticking out there. So you are more than likely going to have to use a file and go around and file the edges down on this guy. Let's see what we have in the bag of parts. We have two wheel sets. Here we have two short screws for the coupler covers and two long screws for the wheel sets. Here we have the detail parts. This part here comes with the two coupler covers, two brake wheels, and then the air brake parts that go onto the floor. Here we have two horn and hook couplers. However, we will not be using these. We will be using the KD number no. five couplers. Comes with two springs and two KD couplers. And of course we have the instructions here. Now it is important to look at these instructions because they are going to tell you where the brake parts are supposed to be placed onto the floor. Other than that though, there's not much to the instructions. Now we can start the assembly. We are going to start with the floor. So you're going to need to take a file and you're going to want to go around and file off any of the flashing that is around any of the couplers here or any of the sides that is going to sit into the body here. Mostly the flashing is probably going to be around the edges and the coupler boxes here, but just check around any of the edges. Make sure it's nice, clean. And these little tabs, do not get rid of these little tabs. They are what hold the floor into the body. So once you have that all done, we are going to start by putting the couplers in, followed by the wheel sets. So we're gonna start by the couplers. So we're gonna put the coupler spring in there, a little bit of KD grease them. Our coupler. We are going to need the coupler covers. And these coupler covers are gonna have a little bit of flashing on them. So we need to take and clean those up. So once you have your coupler covers, now I always like to take the part that we just cleaned the flashing off of away from the coupler. And also you're gonna see some little circles on here from the mold. You wanna make sure that those are up and the side that is smooth goes against the coupler just so that the coupler has good clean operation. So go ahead and put that on there like that. We're gonna get our short screw and screwdriver in there like that, and we are going to stick it on. Tighten it down so the cover is tight, but you wanna make sure the hook still moves freely. Just like that, that's good. And then we are going to do the other side. See, this one is a little bit tight, so we need to find out why. You have to make sure that the coupler cover here doesn't get hung up on any of the sides and that it is going to move freely. There we go. So next is the wheel sets. 
and you want to make sure where the wheel set is going to sit on here you want to make sure that, that is flat because sometimes they have some flashing and you want to make sure that there's no flashing that's going to interfere with the wheel set so just clean those up make sure they're nice and flat don't have to get crazy they should be pretty good all right and then we can go ahead and put our wheel sets on. So we take the wheel set the long screw in there like so. And we can go ahead and screw it on. Making sure that the wheel, oh, that's too tight. Making sure that the wheel moves freely and has a little bit of motion to pivot. There, just like that. And then we can do the other side. Very nice. So then after we do that, we can flip it over and we can start to install our brake parts. Now again, these brake parts might have a little bit of flashing on there. Just go ahead and cut that off the end. So, and then when following the instructions, we can glue them on. And now when you are gluing these on, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use super glue, also known as CA, because we are gluing plastic to metal. So you don't want to use plastic cement. It won't work. And all you want to do is just put a little bit of super glue on the end and then we can place it into the correct hole. You might have to give this a little bit of a push and twist, get it down in there like so, and then we can do the rest as well. So now the floor is all done and that's basically all there is to it. Next we put on the body. So there is one end of the body with the brake wheel post. Uh, we are going to put that side on the side with all of the brake components. So we're just going to stick those little tabs here. There's two little holes here. We are going to stick these two tabs into the two holes on the one side and then we can just bring it around and Push it into the other side. Clip into place. Make sure that it's all in place properly. And there we go. Our ore car is all assembled. And now we also have the brake wheels. Now if you want to, you can go and apply the brake wheel onto the end. Um, however, we are not going to do that today, as explained earlier, because uh, the original ones do not have brake wheels. And I'm going to keep all my stuff the same kind of thing. Try to anyway. Okay, next, I'm going to go take a look at the coupler height. So as far as coupler height on these little aura cars, they're usually pretty good. And you can see that lines up almost perfectly. Don't usually have to do really anything to these. Uh, number fives usually work great. Lots of clearance for the bottom. Lines up really nicely. And that's it. So there you have it. Our Gore and Defiti ore car is all ready for the layout. Let's go take it for a ride. <music> 